you can consist of Rob Mife. Or Brooke Mife today because uh, I'm actually going to go and do something completely different today that I haven't showed you before and you haven't been there before. It's not somewhere we frequent very often and that's the cellar. So today I'm going to go and tidy up the cellar because uh, <clears throat> we have a skip outside and we just want to make sure that there's nothing in there that we don't need. So we're going to sort of just go through it a bit and give it a sweep and tidy up and just check what's down there really because we stored a load of stuff down there the glassware and stuff <coughs> that got wet um, yeah anyway I'll show you the cellar I'm now in the cellar so, oh cobwebs I just want to show you what it looks like we've got so much stuff stored down here um, yeah, there's no drinks or anything down here, it's just stuff. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Oh, there are some drinks that were behind the bar. There are some drinks that were behind the bar, but there's a lot of china uh, cups and saucers. And just let me show you. It's the cellar, folks. Let me just do another light. No, I think that's it for the light. Anyway, so we're in the middle bit, as you can see. So there's a sink there. Have to have one of them in the cellar, and then over here, uh, there's these barrels with this top on, which was a um, part of the chimney stack once back in the day. There's all the sort of necessities that we have to have there. Um, over here is our drink system, just there, so that's a special system. And there's a cooler right in the corner, but we can't get there at the moment because we have all this stuff in there. There's all these coffee cups, millions of sauces that go with coffee cups, all these sort of salad bowls. Oh my god, I don't know what to do, but these are the drinks that go behind the bar. They're liqueurs and stuff. Um, an old dishwasher. Oh, I should try and get that out. I think this fridge works. Another bit of table stuff here, and loads of stuff like loads of stuff. Some of the boxes broke because they got wet, and then over here is where we used to have all the wines. There's some more drinks for behind the bar there, and then we used to have all our wines on here. I had loads, but we have since drunk them all, got rid of them all. Uh, we've got a couple of bottles of something there, but nothing else really. All the wines are upstairs, but there's not many because we haven't bought any because we're not open. Um, loads of glasses, because companies give you glasses and millions of knives and forks, which I was going to sell, which I spent hours putting into different piles. Oh, I've done that years ago. Um, loads of cutlery that we don't use. Loads, there's loads of stuff. Loads of cutlery. Um, oh, there's a kettle there. Oh, why is that kettle there? Is that one not working? There's another one there. Why are they down here? Are they not working? Alright, we need to get rid of all these kettles because I don't know why we're keeping those. But I don't know what to do about all the glasses. We could get rid of... Oh, that broke. That's sad. I might try and mend it. Because the other bit to this is upstairs. I think I'll take that upstairs and mend it with some super glue. Uh, if I can mend it. Yeah, I'll take that upstairs. Uh, so, what happens in this cellar is if it floods at all, ever, the cellar that is, because all cellars are made for flooding, really. So, you have like this system. And the water comes up in these holes and then drains away again so it's all waterproof in here but the water that we did have an issue with is outside um on the corner of the building where it's uh where we had the damp issue where the water still comes down so this end of the building still has this sort of damp issue so we need to rectify it 
by digging out upstairs. Simon's got a, a thing to do. Anyway, I've got some gloves, so I'm going to put some gloves on. And there's not much I can do with this end. I think this uh, unit might be breaking. It doesn't seem to be supported down this end. Mm, no, that wood sort of ends in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> so I don't really want to put some any weight on that. But we've got millions of glasses. I mean, there's so many. It's ridiculous. And millions of these coffee cups. What? What are like ridiculous amount of coffee cups oh there's all the optic things oh no they yeah these are the optic things so these go on the optics um which we're going to put back up i need to find the optics oh there's a load of the welsh see i was wondering where these were these are like the little bar mats and there's a a new pack there that we bought um yeah there's loads of this brass up here, down here. Yeah, I forgot about them. Took them off. I remember taking them off. Millions of these sort of bowls that if you had some kind of do on, you would use them. More trays. I've got millions of trays upstairs. Nothing in there, just some pads for a uh, uh, I'm not sure what that is there. Don't know what that is. Mm, I'm not sure what's in here. More glasses. More glasses. Old carling glasses. <laughs> um, some old car. Some old coffee machine. I don't think that works. I might have to get rid of that. Um, but glasses. So many bloody glasses. I don't know what's in these boxes. I'll have to have a look. I'm not sure what that is. What's this? Some kind of flask. Got something in it. Not sure what this is. What's this? What's this? Dunno. Uh, yeah, some junk here, I must say. I like this, but it's got no no weight. Beautiful though, that's cut glass. I'm gonna to take that upstairs. Um yeah, another little cut glass vase here. I lead crystal that one. Uh, but just loads of stuff. Look at that beautiful bowl. Is it made out of china? Oh it is. It's just dirty. I don't think that's a crack in it, it's just dirt. Messy fruit bowl. And these little things are really handy, so I will take these upstairs. These are what I use in my garden to put all my um, slug repellent stuff in. There's loads of stuff on this table. <sighs> Baskets for putting your drinks in to take them upstairs. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with most of it. And these are old gas bottles that need to be taken back, but we're not sure who takes them back no more. We don't know who takes these back. They weren't the company that we had because they said they don't touch those. So I've got no clue where, who was supposed to... Sure guess it says. Don't even know if they're in... If, they can, if they're working anymore. Anyway, so you can see there's lots... This is a beautiful little pot here. Oh, it's got all dirty. I'll have to wash that. Put it upstairs. Yeah, that's in one of the boxes that fell apart. There's some kind of air blower here. There's another gas bowl there. Don't know why. And some kind of heater. Well, we've never put that on. <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to show you. So this is... See, we don't have any gas bottles anymore. See? We don't have these no more. None. Look, all taken away. We had them there. All chained up there. But now we have this new system which has these here and you put them in these things here and they work much differently and the beer lasts so much longer months and months and months in fact probably a year the beer lasts if you don't interrupt these 
that one's used you can see but they're sort of pressurized but they are so much easier than than the um what's it called it's got a special name that system anyway so i just wanted to show you where we're at so i'm not sure how i'm supposed to tidy this up today that's some kind of burner thing for oh. yeah you put candles in that to keep the food warm mm. i'm not sure what to do with all this stuff i might just throw away all these plastic trays though don't really like those but then they're good if you had a big catering thing so i don't know i just i just don't know I don't know what to do with them all. I don't know how to tidy this up. I'm just going to tidy it up as much as I can and just see if there's any rubbish. I need to tidy that bit there. So these are the stairs. See this? So these stairs come down from... Uh, I need to put a vent on that hole there. It's supposed to have a vent. Anyway, so you need to put the stairs here. And then what you do is you throw, see that sack, you put that at the bottom of the stairs and then when you get your barrels, well used to, but we don't have barrels anymore because we don't have that system anymore. But you used to put your sack down here and then the delivery people used to put the barrels at the top and roll them down, these two bits of wood. And then they would hit the uh, sack at the ends then they would pick them up from there and just drag them over to here or wherever it is you wanted them. That's how it used to work. But obviously, we haven't got that system anymore. We haven't got the old-fashioned pub system. We've got this new system, which is better for our kind of business because you don't waste beer. And for the Guinness, we have Surge Guinness, which is just a little machine that vibrates and really, really, really good. And uh, no waste. I just noticed there's a lid missing off of that drain. And we need to put a lid on there. We need to put some lids on these drains. Hmm, don't like that. We need to put a lid on there. Why has it got no drain cover on it? Oh, I'll have to go and find one. Hmm. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you the cellar, basically. So that's an overflow there. So if there's something... Uh, I think it's an overflow. Yeah, it is an overflow there. So remember, the cellar is meant to flood. It's designed to flood. So that if the water starts rising outside, and for any reason the, the water needs to come down here, it will, and it will flood, but then it easily goes away again with this weird system here. Okay, so there's this weird system. But it is designed that way. So, just thought I'd show you, and I will show you once I've tidied it up. Okay? So, see you at five in the afternoon. And I have been actually doing this cellar all day. I'm having some lemonade. I'm so thirsty. I don't usually drink lemonade, it's full of sugar. But anyway, I just thought I'd have one. I just want to show you what I've been doing in the cellar my toes are just starting to hurt in these canvas shoes now oh i thought i could hear my partner no anyway i just want to show you what i've been doing all day in the cellar sorting things out so i've cleared off some things because we're going to see if we don't want them anymore i'll just show Start you what over here because this is where i started today so this morning I cleared all these stairs. A big cobweb there. Yuck. Get off. So I started clearing all these stairs. So I wanted the door open so that I could get some air and also so I could see. Because there's light up there, I noticed. I don't know. Let's see if the bulb's working. Anyway, so I cleaned all the stairs, all the muck off the stairs they were covered in muck i've never swept these stairs before it's not something that you actually do very often because they're sort of hidden away so you don't really use these stairs the only time you open the door at the top is to um get the barrels like i said uh, so anyway this is all the rubbish that i've been finding today so what i've done is just piled it up all here <laughs> because we've got to get it in the skip 
And there's a couple of things here. I'm not sure if Simon wants them. Um, and these old poles for the uh, beer. We don't want those now because we've got different kinds of beer. That's the sack. We're not throwing that away. And then I wanted to know if he still wanted this thing. So I've left it there and now I've found an old toolbox thing, a workbox, a workmate box around the corner. But these are the two things we want to get rid of as well. So this is an old ice making fridge and this is an old fridge. So we want to see, I wonder if there's anything in the fridge. No, thank God. <laughs> so we want to get rid of these two fridges here. So what I've done is, all the stuff that was all laying all over the place on the floor, because um, we had to take it off of these shelves because it was leaking down in this corner here. And it's quite, yeah, it's not very safe over there in that bit. And so I've moved everything that I can. So I'm keeping all these glasses and what I might do is take them to a second hand shop, a lot of them, um, in sets. Because they're hard to sell, because uh, it's hard to transport glass to people. Whereas these little cups, these little cappuccino cups, not cappuccino, well, what do you call them? Oh, what would you call it? The smallest cup of coffee that you have. Anyway, I forgot what it, what's it called? I can't remember the name. Anyway, that's what they are. And over here, I picked up this crate and I found all of these glasses. Right, these glasses, I knew we had loads of them. And these are all champagne glasses, uh, which will come in handy when we've got a celebration. These glasses are new glasses that we bought, so we're definitely not getting rid of those. There are a couple of jugs up there. They're very, very useful for summertime. Um, and this is a little heat thing, so you put food on them. And then this is all my brass plates I had up on the walls. And that's that little car, but it's supposed to have a stand, but it hasn't got it. So I thought Simon could just take it off of that. And then here's a load of dishes and stuff and um, fondue thing. That's just some uh, packaging, like, um, what do you call it, packaging? Bubble wrap. And then this is all the cutlery down here. There's tons and tons of cutlery. Oh, God. Anyway, I don't know what to do with that. Anyway, I haven't touched this bit with the buckets and I've decided to keep these toys. I was going to get rid of them, but then I thought if we have some kids come, I can always come and get these toys. All the glasses. So this is just all glasses. <clears throat> so these are the sort of um, posh glasses that I took out from the bar. Which, but I never want to get rid of those because a lot of those used to belong to Simon's parents and they're really lovely. And then we got sort of like, and enough to put all the drinks on here. So these are the drinks for the bar, basically. And I've just gone through them all because we had a few old, really old drinks that, um, that you know, I had to get rid of those. So I've thrown them away down the tap. Um, yes, I've done all that. This is mine. I made this. This is um, elderflower. And I've put it in these Grosch bowls. It's elderflower wine. And I've put it in them glass bottles. Need to ask Simon about these kettles, if they're working or not. And if they're not, we get rid of them. This is some kitchenware that I was going to sell on eBay. I may do. I may just take it to a second hand shop. Here's a load more crockery and stuff over here. And millions of these saucers. I don't think we've got as many cups as we've got saucers of these. These are the... Um, What's it called? Anyway, that's them. There's a load of jugs there. I'm not sure if we've got these round dishes for these, so I've decided to keep them. But there's loads of glass bowls. We've got loads of trays. I kept all of the trays um, for sandwiches and stuff for parties under here. So I've kept all them because they're really useful. And I can guarantee if I get rid of those, I bet you I need them. So these are always handy if you have weddings, stuff like that, parties or anything like that. And we've got loads and loads of these dishes, which are equally useful for when you have parties, weddings, small gatherings of people. Um, oh, and these are all the things. I'll show you these already. Couldn't find the optics anywhere, but these go on the optics. These are all new. 
Whereas the optics are really old. I don't know where they are, I can't find them. Unless they're under there. That's the only bit I haven't moved. Mm, so they could be under there. I don't know what that is. Or is that an amplifier or something? I don't know what that is. I'm not really looking. So anyway, I tidied it all up, cleaned all the floor, swept it all everywhere. And then over here, I've cleared up all this end. I need to clean the sink, but I can't bother. And that's beer line cleaner. We don't need that no more. Because uh, these things, you just put this stuff. So you use this stuff. And you just press a button, it cleans it all. You don't have to actually use that. Uh, that stuff around there. And this is the machine. And we've hardly used it. It's brand new. And they came and fixed it in 2020. And look, all the wiring for it. They put all this in. Because we used to have all the wiring and stuff for the beers along here. Everything was along there. And then I used to have a a big pot thing that used to have to clean all the pipes with much simpler this one anyway i just want to show you so i'm really proud that i've done the whole of i've just been pouring some sour sours is it like apple and blueberry or raspberry sours down the sink because i bought them oh wow must be ages ago a few years Nobody's ever had it apart from a group of youngsters we had here once um, for a young farmer's thing. So I've just thrown it all away because, you know, you've got to keep your eye on the dates. So I've just thrown all that away and I threw a bit of uh, a few other bits of drink away. But I've kept, um, these are all alright because I know that these aren't old. All these ones here are not old. Probably last year's actually, or this year's. Last year's, so they, their dates aren't gone out. Uh, so, there you are, so I've done it all, I'm so pleased. Let me just turn the camera and say goodbye, it's starting to get dark. I guess in 2020, but we did buy some drinks for Christmas and stuff. And it lasts us like two years when we buy a drink for Christmas, because <laughs> we don't drink much, so well, especially spirits, they don't go fast. We don't drink loads of spirits at all. But I did make this elderflower wine. When did I make that? Wasn't this year? Last year. Oh, she'll be well matured. Twenty one. That's when I made that. There you go. I made that with um elder flowers out of our garden. It's very clear. Tiny little bit of sediment, so it's good. I think it might be more alcoholic because it was supposed to be just a cordial, but as you leave it, it becomes more alcoholic, which is why you put it in them, them types of bottles so that uh, it can hold on to the the pressure, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so that's it. So we haven't got any stock. No drink stock whatsoever, apart from a few few bits, but nothing. We used to have loads of wine and soft drinks and beer and so many drinks we used to have down here. Now we've just filled it up with stuff. <laughs> but millions of glasses still, that's for sure. Wow, so many glasses. Put some pans. No, no pans. No pans in here. I've got all the pans upstairs. <clears throat> mm. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know anything about what, what we're doing here, why we're doing it, why I'm in the cellar right now. It's a lovely cellar, by the way. It's not at all spooky, just in case you're wondering. It's not. And it's very clean and tidy and neat. And it's not nasty. The only bit of leakage we got is that bit over there, what I, kept, what I showed you. Um, but apart from that, there's no damp in here. It's a very nice cellar, as cellars go. This is a lovely cellar. Um, and it has all the proper safety stuff. Look, I'll show you. It's like this, do you now? So you've got this safety thing, this safety thing. And you've got this safety thing. 
this safety thing and a safety light so, and plug sockets and switches. Oh, I think this might work. Oh yeah, it's that light. Oh, I wondered where the light was. There it is. So yeah, you've got all this safety gear. Oops, let's get that cobweb down there. Didn't actually do the ceiling over here. So we used to keep these beers here, Purple Moose, Black Dragon, Scrumpy, Surge Guinness and Peroni and Budweiser. We used to keep on these shelves all in lines. Yeah, so we used to have loads of people come here. And the gas bottles, look. We used to have red for Worthington's and green for Carlin. <laughs> and then all the gas fitment stuff was up on this wall here. And the gas bottles were stored over here, chained, and there was some gas bottles, a couple here. Well, this is where they used to be for the actual pumps, but this is where we used to sort of store them here. And then all the pumps and everything were up here on the wall, as I just showed you. And the um, guy who put all this stuff in, put all this stuff in, put all this new wire and this stuff that you need. So he did all that, but we haven't had to have it on because we haven't had any people. As you know, we've been shut for two years. Uh, this year we opened last week, but we didn't put any of this on because you'd have to use one of these whole 20 litre things. That's a lot of beer, so we haven't done that. So, there you go. Let me see. Just so you can see what's going on in our cellar, really. It's quite interesting, isn't it? Anyway, I need to go and shut the doors now because it's starting to get quite chilly in here. Oh, it was quite warm. Because usually you have um, cellars cold, really cold. And this is usually quite cold, but um, obviously there's no fridge on or anything. Anyway, I'm walking on. See these, these are the, um, we use these, this one's died I think, but we use these, these are higher from Tanners for the uh, sparkling water, for the soda water, the really old school soda siphons, look, I mean really really heavy and you sort of hire them and then when you empty, when, when they empty, so you don't have to buy tons, it doesn't cost you tons of money to uh, pay for soda water and I love them, they're so good and you can obviously fizz up some orange juice, stuff like that if you want to but they're really nice, they're made by this company Hancock's I hope they still do it because I really used to like having the soda water and you buy, you get them like six bottles at a time but they're really good and don't cost an arm and a leg and that way you can offer soda water. I do have a, a, mod, a modern soda, soda siphon. I need to buy some um, siphons for it. I think this used to be Simon's parents. Oh, it's really lovely, look, it's orange. I will get that going. I think I might need to get another cocktail shaker. I think this bit's missing off that one. <coughs> anyway, I'm getting a red nose because it's quite cold down here. So I'm gonna go now. So bye. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again soon in the next video which won't be in the cellar. It'll be upstairs or outside. Okay?